Turn it up, mm. turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. This video is is <clears throat> I haven't seen this one either, but from the title, um, what the title is telling us is that this police officer's encounter with the possessed woman. Now, also possession and stuff is real too. So I definitely take it serious. I know a lot of people don't believe it or they have some skepticism. That's totally fine. But it's out there. Whether you want it to be real or not, it is not, it's not up to us. But it but it's real. And this police officer encounters a possessed woman. Um, I don't know. He he's gonna explain why he encounter or how he encountered it and things like that. But we get I think a lot of people are at the stage where they want to try like or experience new things. They I think some people have, have gotten to the point where they feel like they've experienced so many like everything in life, they just want to experience something new. So I don't know if that's his case, but let's hear what he has to say about it. And I'll tell you what, it, this is going to sound crazy. If anybody wants to think I'm nuts, I've had one call where I can't, it's kind of funny to say this, where I just went, if there's such a thing as demonic possession, this might be it. Mm. And, you know, because you, you, you deal with pe unstable st stable people all the time, you know, but this one call I had, it was just like, you know, you're not thinking that when you're on the call. You're not thinking, oh, that's just the devil. I've seen the exorcist. I can just, you know, power of Christ compels you. Let's what, move on. what do you mean by call? Like, uh, uh, I got called to, uh, uh, I was working with this young officer and we got called up to this house up here on the mountain over by, uh, it's up here on top of, top of High Ridge, the Franklin Hills area, way up here. Beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. Yeah. And uh, the call comes in on the computer and it says, uh, this guy wants his wife taken to the psychiatric center. Uh, he's just, look, you know, the officers to give her a ride. And I was kind of like, man, that's your wife. That's your problem, man. You take her. But I felt like a dick when I got there because it was anything but. We get there, we knock on the door, and this elderly man op opens, and he says, hey, you know, my, my wife's been in the psych center for months. They've let her go, and she needs to go back. And I'm afraid to put hands on her because I don't want to fight her. I don't want her to fight back, and I don't want to be accused of hurting my wife. We've been through enough. I'm a jerk. She starts telling me a little bit about her, right? He says, well, she's upstairs. She's been out, I don't know, a few weeks, and she's not eating. She hasn't showered. She's not taking care of herself. She's not on her meds. And she's just been pacing up and down, back and forth, back and forth, just pacing. And he goes, be careful where you step when you go up there. What do you mean by that? blood along the floor. Oh. All right, because she'd been dragging her feet, mm. and it just, like, gnawed her feet down. Oh. It was causing them to bleed out. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. So, um, right then, their son comes out of the kitchen or something. He's like, hey, what's up, you guys? We're like, hey, what's up, man? And I notice he has uh, those T-shirts, those wife beaters, that's what they're called, the tank top, real tight. And I notice he has fresh ink on. He, he just got tatted up because he's got ointment. I just catch this, and so we're all talking. And, you know, the dude says, you know, well, go, go upstairs, just be careful. She's up there. This is kind of already eerie. He's like, be careful. You know, all right, man. Wait, were you by yourself? Uh, -uh I had a, I had a, okay. an officer with me. I had a okay. young female with me. And as we walk up the steps, beautiful home. I can't reiterate how lovely this home was. As we come up off the steps, there's these double doors. And man, like it's just like right out of the movies. There she is. She's straight back, and she's just kind of taking that, that, that torque stance, where she just tweets. You know, and her hair is just stringy and matted down. It's all matted out. And her skin is just pasty, just like, and she's doing this breathing like, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, Whoa. man, and she pops up, right? And she just starts walking towards us. I'm going like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> and that's like, I'm going, like, what do you do? I'm like, hey, oh, my come here. Give me your hands. Let's talk this out. Like, no, that's not going to work, man. And she's just, and she walks right towards me and she, she, she beelines it right back to where she, she was started. And she's just going back and forth, Fuck. dragging her feet. And she's like hyperventilating and her body's jerking. I'm going like, what the fuck? Now I'm well-versed in crazy bitch. Cause I've dated a few of them, <laughs> <laughs> but this, no, no, no. First of all, yeah, that's not anywhere near normal. So this is not a normal encounter. This is not what you would typically see. This is a demonic, demonically possessed. A woman or she, hey, I think she's 
from his description, demonically possessed. That's where that's where my mind goes. I don't know if anybody that is that is doing that because you know drugs is is, is a gateway to to spiritual um, experiences or the spiritual world. You know, and people get access to that through drugs illegally. Uh, what I mean by illegal is like you're not supposed to be experiencing what you're experiencing. That's why it's illegal. It's, it's not. It's not where you're supposed to be. And people access it through drugs. People can get those experiences through drugs. I mean, you hear of ayahuasca. People take trips, and they and they and they come back and like, man, I saw some crazy stuff. And they think they seen their spirit guide, which is actually a demon, things like that. So you hear these stories of people taking trips and seeing things and experiencing uh, different things, or people not waking up for some time. Like, like this is. This is some, uh, some serious stuff. So let's hear what he says next. This was on another level, man. <laughs> this was on another level. <laughs> and she, I, I get the officer I'm with, starts talking to her, and they're like facing each other. And that this lady, she just looks at me. She just turns and looks at me, right? And she, she shallows her breathing, and she's looking at me. And I'm going like, what is she doing, man? She, I felt like, like red flag one. Like something in her was watching me. I know that sounds nuts. It sounds oh, like, like we're right. looking at each other now. It's not like that. Like something was, I'm going, this is fucking weird. So right then their son comes upstairs and he sees I'm engaged in this. He goes, hey, man. I'm like, what's up, dude? He goes, I'm a Christian rapper. And I'm going like, <laughs> what? <laughs> he goes, yeah, man, I drop beats for the Lord. Like, okay. I mean, I'm this shit. And I'm talking about house. Yeah, I'm going, this guy, let's get her. we got to get her. Let's get her out of here. And then right then, the, the, this old man comes up, and he has something in his hand. And I'll get to that in a second. He has something in his hand. And the kid does something, red flag number two. The kid takes a key out, and he unlocks his bedroom door and a deadbolt. And I'm going, who does that? Right. I, I mean, you don't even have keys on this, probably, on your doors, you know, to the bedrooms here. Uh, regular, yeah. regular. Uh, yeah, who has keys? Yeah, a little inside okay. lock yes. on the door knob. And this is also yeah. custom where it's a deadbolt. Oh. Like who does that? And I'm, but I'm thinking that I'm not thinking. It's just just like Holy things shit. are like, and he's he's he says, "Hey, check this out." And he has this little machine. It says you can drop, you know, you know. I'm like, "Oh, okay, dude." He has his Bible, and he sees that I have tattoos. He goes, "Do you have to cover those up?" I'm like, "Yeah." I mean, he goes, "Check this out." And he shows that tattoo now, and it's this angelic Christian, whatever this thing is, like a protector, a heavenly protector type thing, some religious thing. I mean, and he sees I'm watching this, and I'm telling the officer, let's go, let's go. Let's get her going. It's the whole time she's engaged in me, and the kid says something. I'll never forget this. Now, again, you know, I say demonic or this, if it's something else. It's not like Hollywood, man. They're not crawling on the walls and heads spinning around and these voices and all that cool shit. You know, no, this is, this is real. And this kid says, sir, I'm like, what's up, man? He goes, this is nothing. I'm like, what do you mean this is nothing? Turned out that lady has a son that's a Christian, and he's not even phased by what his mom is doing. But that is a very weird thing to uh, experience. Um, but I, yeah, I'm definitely interested in hearing how how this ends because, you know, and and see, this is the thing. Like a lot of people that want, like you know, skeptics, a lot of skeptics, and even people that might be watching this and like, well, you know, I just never heard of something like this or experienced it. I didn't know. Well, you know, these these things that occur like this um, happen on a daily basis, just in, you know, stories that we don't really hear. But to be a person that's not afraid of it, even though you know what it is, you have to be getting your confidence from somewhere. Um, because any regular person, I think any regular person that knows what they're fighting against would not be unfazed. But if you're a believer, if you're a Christian, I believe, who is confident in the Lord and, you know, fully have that faith, you know, when you see stuff like that come against you, it, it, at first it might be startling, but kind of get that initial jitters shaken off of you. You know, and of course, he lives at the house, so he's seen it multiple times. The cops, this is their first encounter, so they're like, what the heck? 
goes, this is nothing. I'm like, what do you mean this is nothing? He goes, you should hear it at night. I go, what? Jeez. You should hear it at night. I go, this is your mother. You, you refer to her as it? That's not my mom, bro. Goes, I don't know what that is. He goes, and that's why I lock my door. <gasps> I went, fuck this, man. So we get her, right? We're like, I'm so the officer, we got to take her. Well, then that the old man standing there with that thing in his hand. You know how nowadays we have our phones and I can show you pictures or just send you pictures. Like, yeah. this is my daughter, it's my family, whatever. Right. Jiu-jitsu, whatever we're doing. Yeah, just a he has a Rolodex, like three by five pictures that you, maybe your parents had, you know, like a, like a little album. Right. And they had just moved here from maybe Idaho or Iowa. Again, lovely home. He's flipping through it and he gets through this picture of this woman in the kitchen in that house. And that was her. And she's stunning. And I'm like, is this her? He goes, yeah. I go, what happened? He goes, we don't know. They don't know. I see she an addict. Uh, she in drugs. She, history of any of that? But wait, they don't know who she is? She's no, like, that's she's his wife. Not... They don't know how, how, what happened to her, according to her husband. Oh, so yeah. when the kid said that's not his mom. Yeah. Well, he's saying what he's seen, like what she's her, doing. In her current state. Yes. He goes, that's okay. not my mom. Okay. That's not like what he's saying is that's not the woman I know. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's mom. But so he deadbolts his door at night yes. because of her. Yes. The demons come out. Whatever it is, man. Fuck. Yeah. And we ended up, you know, it's, there's no dramatic heroic ending. We ended up getting her to the psychiatric center. We gave her a ride. The breathing continued. Her demeanor continued. And we, we, we turned her over to the psych center. Her husband was there, walked her in, and that was the end of it. Don't know whatever happened. But it makes you wonder, like, what, what's going on? Like, for, for her own son to go the lock it up, you know, and he's turning his, I mean, it all made sense. It was like one of those Kaiser Sosa moments from the usual suspects where everything comes together, man. Like it all made sense. Yeah. That's crazy. That, that's, that's, um, that is a scary situation, especially fresh into it. You know, when you haven't seen anything like that before, that is definitely crazy. Um, drop a dust in the comments, man. I got a headache for some reason. Maybe it's this light is too bright in my eye. <laughs> 